Night falls. Shadows grow long. A cold wind whispers through the trees. It carries a name, a legend, a warning. Bloody bones. Imagine, if you will, a creature formed of darkness and dread. Its head, a skull stripped bare of flesh, eyes burning with malevolent fire. Its body, a skeletal frame held together by sinew and rage. The stench of decay clings to it, a gruesome display of its power over life and death. But most terrifying of all is the sound, the rattle and clank of bones against bone, the chilling symphony of your impending doom. Now, picture this creature emerging from the depths of your worst nightmares, a being that thrives in the shadows, feeding off your fear. Its presence alone is enough to send shivers down your spine, a cold sweat breaking out as you sense its approach. The air grows thick with the scent of rot and despair, a suffocating miasma that leaves you gasping for breath. As it draws nearer, you can hear the faint whispers of the damned, souls trapped in eternal torment, their cries merging with the creature's own sinister laughter. The ground trembles beneath its feet, each step echoing like a death knell, a harbinger of the inevitable end that awaits you. What is the story of Bloody Bones? Let us delve into the darkness and uncover the secrets of this terrifying figure from folklore. Bloody Bones' roots dig deep into the soil of England. He haunts the ancient forests and windswept moors of the British Isles. His name echoes through centuries of folklore, a vision of darkness that lurks at the edge of civilization. One of the earliest mentions of Bloody Bones comes from Somerset, England. There he is said to haunt an area known as Cogley Wood. Locals whispered tales of a monstrous figure who roamed the woods, preying on those foolish enough to enter after dark. His legend spread like wildfire, passed down through generations. Mothers would invoke his name to keep their children in line. Be good, they'd warn, or Bloody Bones will get you. Bloody Bones became the embodiment of childhood fears, a cautionary tale whispered in the darkness. As English settlers crossed the Atlantic, they carried their folklore with them. Bloody Bones found a new home in the untamed wilderness of North America. Here, his legend took on new life, merging with Native American myths and the anxieties of frontier life. In the American South, Bloody Bones became associated with slavery. Enslaved people whispered his name in hushed tones, a symbol of the horrors they endured. He represented the brutality of their captors and the ever-present threat of violence. Bloody Bones' story evolved to reflect the fears and anxieties of a new land. He became a bogeyman of the bayou, a monster that haunted the swamps and forests of the American South. Tales abound of encounters with this creature. Whispered accounts of unsuspecting victims lured to their doom by the promise of adventure or the allure of the forbidden lost travelers wandering into its domain. Children daring each other to speak its name. Bloody bones, bloody bones, bloody bones, they become its prey. Their screams lost in the darkness. Historical accounts hint at the creature's existence. Unexplained disappearances, gruesome discoveries. Whispers of a skeletal figure seen lurking near the sites of tragedy. Are these mere coincidences? Or is it something more? The legend persists, a haunting echo from the folkloric crypt that some things are best left undisturbed.